one. Hello, YouTube! Welcome to the episode... Oh, <laughs> welcome to the episode. Welcome to this edition of Colford Plays Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. My name is Colford. This is Danganronpa. As you can see, I've got a costume on. This is for Jean d'Arc, which we'll be playing after Danganronpa. Hopefully, we finish Danganronpa and have time for Jean d'Arc afterwards. Um, because this costume is intended for Jean d'Arc, but I was too excited to not wear it, so... I am the knight in shining armor of Hope's Peak Academy right now, in full force. Uh, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna show off the costume in full glory. You see it? You see it pretty well. It looks, it looks pretty good, right? Oh, hello there. It's me, Noble Knight Colford. How you doing? Just a casual Noble Knight. Just a casual Knight. It's me, Colford the Knight. Let's get started, guys. Let's load back in and do this thing. Let's end it. It's time for the finale of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm ready. I hope you are. What is thy wisdom? Pizzas are great. I had so many pizzas today. I had two pizzas. Eat pizza. I wish knights were able to eat pizza. If they didn't have pizza back then, I'm really sad for them. But maybe they were able to, like, brainstorm up a pizza. I feel like that's, like, something that, like, most people can just come up with on the, on the fly. All right, let's do this. Let's rock it. Thinking back to what Monokuma told us. The memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. The motives Monokuma came up with, the founding of Hope's Peak Academy, the class trials. The founding of Hope's Peak Academy is what I'm assuming. Ah. It's not that. I thought it was the founding of Hope's Peak Academy. Memories were stolen from us. And what they must be related to the motives? Oh, well, I guess it was the motives. About the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? Oh, because they were related. The motives were all related to like memories. Oh, I forgot about that. I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was it's true. Of it's true. Even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Specific theme? Uh, theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive? The theme for the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. Yes, on the DVD was footage of my family. Okay. Sayaka was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So the first murder, the motive we were given was... Human connections. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. <laughs> I love that. I love Duco's voice. Your friends. Oh my god. Are you talking about me, Smith? Oh my god. You the we'll see if I'm the smartest man alive. We'll see if we can do this without game overing. We're like, we're like half health right now, so. Still, Sitting at half HP. Thing to do. It's not a good place to sit. Did it. Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay, time for the next question. Ooh. Uh, so, what was the theme for the second motive? For the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. It was tied to memories. Like... Half HP is better than none, the ooh woo. Ooh woo. Uh, it was tied to the meaning of life, strong heart. It was tied to the past. It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto 
plan on dragging this out relax relax okay on to the next question so what was the motive for the third murder motive for the third murder the theme for the third murder which was money she wanted to buy a european castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men it was money greed i got it it was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Hell yeah! Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? This is a tricky one. The motive in the case of Sakura's death was. What was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? I actually don't remember why Sakura killed herself. It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of the motive of the fourth case was blackmail, secrets, betrayal. Um. Shit, it could be any of these, to be honest. I don't think it's secrets. It's betrayal or blackmail. I think it's blackmail. Fuck. I mean, darn it. Shoot. Maybe it is secrets, because he just said secret. How much of secrets? Fuck! Shoot. He literally said the word secret. It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. I guess it's betrayal. I got it. Darn it. Not the smartest man alive. Betrayal. Precisely. You see... Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road! But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two huh. sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> Piaquia. Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. <laughs> all, of, all of Junko's personalities are so is, funny. The seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? 
all you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are hmm. you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? I miss Mondo. <laughs> Correct the Mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Hmm. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. Ooh. You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? <laughs> I want to see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school wall! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. What? Oh my god. What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. You should recognize it? Yeah, what does that mean? That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Because now it's time for the final class trial. I thought we were in the final class trial. Genocide Jack's memory photo of Kyoko in the Headmaster group photo. I'm gonna say Genocide Jack's memory. <gasps> oh, Genocide Jack might not have her memory gone. Genocide Jack might remember. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. Fuck. No! I, I... Oh, my God. I knew it. Okay. So it is Genocide Jack's memory. Yeah. When it comes to that creep, I don't understand. What's the meaning? Is this another one of the... I mean, what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end. What? What other... Bitches, what the fuck happened? Want us to when it comes to that creep? I don't understand. What's the meaning? Is this another one of the I mean, 
What am I supposed to be remembered? Nobody can remember anything. Yes! No, it's wrong. Just like Jack will remember. Believe in Jack! Jack, 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 Jack! Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? The other token. Genocide Jack. The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Sorry, Toko. You're the only one we can rely on now. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the dot. Achoo! Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. <laughs> Mushrooms on her head. Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you too. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye, Roger. You got it, Captain. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but. The stuff it's showing? Of course I do! <laughs> so you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me! In the quiet place, you know? Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? the question what happened out there well i can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening but it was the biggest most awful most tragic event in human history why is that phrase coming up now because it's all because of that event what is are you serious i'm talking about the way the world is now is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I wonder what it is. What happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. And as a result, in basically no time flat, the world turned out the way it did. And that's that. Hmm. That's all there is to it? <laughs> Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Morose saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. <laughs> Okay, okay. 
Okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. But how can the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? <laughs> I wonder. Correct! Well done, peasant! But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated! What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relative. Oh my god. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The Avatar A peasant? Of punishment? You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. But hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Jugo is popping off, and I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. What? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end... You can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. Answer with all your heart and soul. What are you supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. The memories that were stolen from us. 
what Jungo says is true, we first came here two years ago. But the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us are life at Hope's Peak. I got it. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? Oh, this routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! Oh my god. Ooh. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! <laughs> Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just surreal. Shit. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's I think it's the group I mean, photo. I the awesome school. I got, never even gone to a single class! Nope, it's not the group photo. Shoot. So... I could never lose something like that. Let's try to lock it your pocketbook. Hell no! I mean... I haven't gone to any awesome school events. I've never even gone to a single class. This is all just fuck. Surreal. Fuck. Plus, in two years of how freaking old. <laughs> Everyone's so confused. I could never lose. We've been living here for hell no. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events. I've never even gone to a single class. Another pocketbook. I know he's been to a class. I don't understand how it's not the Let's try notebook. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No. Even more than that. This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No. No way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies. It's a one big lie. I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's 
it's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! <laughs> Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun Hold classes? on, guys. I'm taking a selfie. How many school events? Well, this is this going down. This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad Actually, happened wait, one year ago. Actually, wait, I would do this. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone dies, the world came crashing down. Thank you! You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you've forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world! Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. The moment we must have lost our memories, I can only think of one time. Just after, um... I fainted. I got it. of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. with my head on a desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Everyone met for the first time. It wasn't actually for the first time. Hmm. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other. But uh, nice. But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. Where's Kanzai when I need him? Kanzai would have appreciated that. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Where's my sauce? Sauce, where are you? I summon thee. Yep. That's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together. And then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. I don't know. I'd say he's like a barbecue sauce. Maybe a... Nah, not honey mustard. Like a spite, like a tangy barbecue sauce. 
That's how I would describe it. Who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would. Fall yeah, Barbie sauce is pretty good. What do you mean pretty well, good? Barbie sauce is fucking so great. You, you lather that shit on. Oh yeah. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. Let's go back in time two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. Bruce. And the Boosie's barbecue sauce? That caused it. I never tried that one. I can't believe On your recommendation, it Smith, I'll grab it. Next time I'm at the grocery store. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. All right. On the turn, on the note of despair being a natural phenomenon. Stream ain't popping today. We don't have much of our crew. We got Smith, we got Nikki, Booses, Boosies. I think what we're going to do is we're going to end stream. I'm going to take a quick smoke break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to play uh, Jean d'Arc. Because I want more people to be here for the finale. I feel like we're missing out on most of the, most of the cast. You know what I mean? We're missing out, like... I'm one of the Muppets on stage, and we need, like, the grouchy old men from the Muppets. I need people shouting at me. So what we're going to do is we're going to end here. We're going to move on to the third, I, maybe it's the fourth or the fifth installment of the finale. This finale is dragging. I'll be honest, this last class trial is going on way too long for me. It's boring. These are all mysteries that, like, I feel like, I don't know. Junko's just explaining. It's just a it's a lot of monologuing. And I'm bored with her. She's like interesting as a character, but the fact that she's just going she's droning on and on about it and not letting us like solve the mysteries ourselves is pretty annoying. Um so we're gonna play Jean d'Arc instead. Because I think that's gonna be more fun. And I can do accents, I can do some French accents, I can do some Scooby Doo accents, I can do some mispronunciation of names because they're French which I love all these French words that I don't know what they mean so we're going to end stream here or we're going to end the YouTube video here first bye YouTube if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe in the YouTube comment section located down below it means a lot to us whenever you do so the feedback good and bad goes to making these episodes the best possibly can be we appreciate hearing what you like and don't like about the videos let us know again down below other than that be kind to others be kind to yourself and we will see you next time for more Colford Plays Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc the finale. Take care. Goodbye.